You know, we never leave our pick. Natural Hair Girls, we never leave our pick. Okay, so we are going to deep condition right now. And as I promised in my vlogs, I am going to show you guys what materials I use. <sighs> Leave in. Oil. Deep conditioner. These are Holy Girl Grails from the drugstore. That's affordable, except this one that you can get from Amazon. They used to be at the drugstore that I know of. Let me know if you guys have seen it at the drugstore lately. But yeah, this is what we're rolling with. And Lego. Okay. Anyway, I'm trying to do my hair. Perfect. Okay, so we are doing our hair, and I have just finished deep conditioning with the Coconut Penetrating Hair Treatment by Camille Rose. I am drinking, I made this custom chai tea latte here at home. So we are going to detangle and y'all, this detangle is going to be a breeze and I'm, I can already tell you just because of how soft my hair feels. It feels like butter for real. I miss this feeling. And, um, look at this. I'm doing this with my fingers, y'all. I'm not even going in with a different brush. This is with my fingers. That's when you know you have a really good deep conditioner. So... I'm gonna go ahead and I'm still detangling even while I am twisting. Like I'm pulling this, my fingers through, just to make sure. This is why you need a good deep conditioner. This is probably why I am such a hoarder when it comes to deep conditioners. This is an amazing deep conditioner because this is all the I know this probably looks disgusting to you guys, but to a natural hair girl that has dry, detang just tangled hair and detangling is like one of the worst steps that I kind of, I'm, I'm more concerned about the detangling step because my hair is fragile, it's high porosity, it's usually dry, and it breaks easily. I mean, water already makes the hair weak. But I naturally have weak, weak hair. That's why our hair usually likes proteins. So this is all that I lost in the detangling step. I'm not going to rinse out on camera because I need to take a shower. And this is my me time. But I wanted to show you guys this. And I am going to come back and show you guys how my hair looks styled. We bet. Okay. So put this away. Just tuck it under there. And we are going to start sealing in the LLC method. We are going to start our oil because our liquid is already the water that's on our hair. Okay. So we're going to saturate the section with full, you know, full of water and then we're going to take our oil now i prefer oils over butters but this um around the winter time it's the other way around but it's just because they slide better and it's lacking in that moisture from root to tip i want the water to run down the hair strand because that's going to ensure that all of this is saturated. And I don't worry, I have on a t-shirt for the purpose, but 
most of the time I would have a tile towel a towel around me um, around my body. and I'm just pulling it from the root too because I want to make sure the oil gets there too I am very generous with my oil y'all as you can tell very generous I want to make sure that it runs through the hair strand and then I'm going to do the V I'm going to go from the, the tip to the root. So I'm going to go here and then work up. Okay. And that's done. I'm going to do it one more time. And I'm going to get these edges. I do smooth my edges with it. So I'm going to twist it back, detangle. This is how you keep your hair detangled and... Um, just keep it, you know, especially with our type of hair. You can either do this or this, but I prefer doing it this way because it keeps the moisture in the hair until I apply the next product. Okay, so next we're doing the Maui Moisture. This is actually a hair mask, but you can use it as a leave-in. So I'm using this because it's the winter time. And then we're going to go into the super wet. The super wet. I'm going to come back. I'm... It, I'm just going to have a dedicated wash and go routine for you guys, but um, this is not what this vlog about is about. I just wanted to show you guys like the steps up to this. So I'm going to apply my leave-in conditioner and then my gel to each section. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to apply this and smooth it out. I'll, use, I'll do it on one section just so you guys can see about what I'm going to do to each section. So it's still detangled. I'm going to take about that much of the leave-in conditioner. I'm going to be generous. I'm going to use two. And I'm going to work that in. A smooth rake. And I rake from root to tip. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with my gel. Hold on just a second. Sometimes you'll get some of those straggly products. And I'm going to go in with my gel. It is like a glue, honey. So, this stuff is going to freeze. Look at that. Defied. Now that is what you call a wash and go. Good morning. So this is my hair. It is about 95% dry. Um, but I wanted to come back and show you the next morning how my hair looks. Now, all I did was put my hair in a top knot, which I've shown you guys before. But for the sake of the vlog, You'll see tonight kind of like how I stretch my hair or how even when it's not all the way dry, like it was not all the way dry at all. I just put it in the top of my head and then I use a scarf and wrapped it around the sides. But this is my hair 95% dry. As you can tell, it totally looked different than last week's vlog. So um, I'm going to show you. Um, now I'm in stretch mode because it is so short and it needs some life. So I'm going to put some oils on my hand. So put some oil on my hand and I am going to put it in a top knot. Um, I probably won't do that until I'm in the car. But um, I'm going to get ready for work and I will see you guys in a minute. Okay, we are uh, in the parking lot. <laughs> so I'm just going to take my hair tie. And first, I think I want to stretch up. Or maybe I'll stretch back. So, this is just, I'm not touching the curls. I really don't want to work. I'm just working at the base of the hair. And then I will just, we'll go back because it seems like it's easier. So basically, I'm just doing 
like a loose bun in the back of my head and we are ready for work let's go okay so i just noticed that you guys could not see my face or my hair so basically all i did was just like tie it back and that was it i'll see you guys a bit later all i did was tie it back um and this is kind of like how i stretch my wash and go and um get all that shrinkage out of it but yeah so headed to work i'll see you guys in a bit hi guys so um this is the end of actually day one hair and as you can tell this is the good wash and go this is what i want to use to transition a twist out so i i showed you guys everything that i use and <clears throat> The only thing I've been doing, excuse me, I'm still recovering from a cold. Um, the only thing that I changed was alternating, stretching my hair. It was, this is not, this is a lot of shrinkage still, but it is stretching out my hair. And like I said, third, third day hair is us usually the best day. So today is Thursday. Around Saturday is when I'm going to start um, twisting my hair. So I'm really excited or I might do that tomorrow. I'm not sure, but I just wanted to show you guys um, how my hair looked. It's still shiny, a lot of definition, not a lot of frizz. That's what we want to go into transitioning. This is kind of like my winter wash and go routine. It's not just a wash and go. It's transitioning it to a twist out, which I don't, I can retwist and moisturize and it does not dry out my hair as much now I know it's a little bit more work but that's what I have to do to retain moisture and length in my hair otherwise it'll start breaking off and everything if I wear my hair straight that's a different story but definitely curly I need to it's it's a little bit more maintenance so yeah just want to let you guys know okay y'all this is Z hair this is day two hair I love this wash and go okay this is like the drugstore this is my favorite wash and go okay I definitely have to come with like a specific routine where you guys can see it exactly everything that I do you did see in the uh, in the vlog like me applying certain products and all that kind of stuff but like I want to come with the step by step because I feel like this is one of the best wash and goes and this is amazing like <clears throat> to get a bomb twist out if you're high porosity you have fine thin hair you want a bomb wash and go especially if you're converting it um i already have hold in here um some of my makeup got in my hair Ooh. but as you can tell it's being stretched and this is is this day three no this is this is day three hair this is th day three so this is usually the optimal day four is going to be really good but between today and tomorrow i need to twist it so, out this is how my hair looks i'm gonna hold my, the camera back but um i am so excited i'm so happy with these results that it just was um this is a four day wash and go using those drugstore products i am using the almond jai twist butter there are two things that i am i'm kind of like alternating every other night to moisturize my hair this is the almond jai twist butter by camille rose it is amazing it is thick and it's really good for thick hair and um it's kind of like the curling hansen smoothie by shea moisture but 10 times better like the and it doesn't contain glycerin so curling hansen smoothie i can only use with the gel souffle and that is really on in the spring and summer but that one is a year round product for me and this is another year round this is the bacura nectarine vanilla honey latte detangling milk by bacura beauty this is what i use today um, to add some moisture and the trick is to add moisture before your hair gets dry so if it's feeling dry you've kind of like waited too late so or as soon it's kind of like washing my face when I get up I wash my face when I get up in the morning I'm moisturizing my hair like straight out the bed um I know that may be a little extra for everybody but that is how I keep my hair good and moisturized and juicy um so 
yeah I think I'm going to end the vlog here this is a wash and go I am going to turn it into a twist out but I wanted to show you guys like in the first couple of vlogs this is a really good wash and go this is a four day this is how it looks and now that I know that these products really really work well together I'll probably come with a formal routine of like a drugstore wash and go so I hope you guys enjoyed this week's vlog and we're gonna end it here I hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll see you next week bye lovies